speed, efficiency, economy, practicality, accuracy. These are just some of the answers to a question that every contractor should be asking. That question is, why pump concrete? Poured concrete has steadily gained favor over other construction methods, in part because of quality of construction and design flexibility. Steel framework has given ground to all concrete buildings as improved mix formulations combine architectural design with strength. With the growing demand for ready mixed concrete by the world's builders came the inevitable call for better distribution technology and the concrete pump has responded. Building on more than two decades of experience, today's refined and reliable concrete pumps have played a major role in the increased specification of concrete over other building materials. Guided by the imagination of the manufacturers, owners, and operators of concrete pumping equipment, innovative applications have resulted in structures that probably would never have been built without the use of a pump. Consider methods other than a pump. Chutes and buckets dump. A pump distributes. Instead of a multiple crew of spreaders and finishers on a project, precision placement means fewer workers on the business end of a concrete pump. With construction labor needed at both the bucket loading area and its discharge target, someone is idle at any given time during the pour cycle. With a crane and bucket, labor costs are sacrificed while the payload is going up and an empty bucket is coming down. Pumping, on the other hand, assures a steady, predictable flow of concrete that enables precise control at the batching source, at the pump loading point, and at the discharge hose. Utilization of labor is maximized with accompanying savings in costs and a faster production rate. These cost savings are verified by the standard for estimating, the Means Cost Data Guide. Published comparisons used by the construction industry every day show that concrete pumps are estimated at nearly half the cost of cranes for elevated slabs and beam pours. For cast-in-place columns and walls over eight feet, pumps are the only recommended method. With one concrete pump, or several units working together on a pour, the question isn't how fast can you pump, it's how fast can you feed the pump. When large volumes of concrete are required quickly, as much as 18,000 yards have been placed by four pumps in 47 hours, averaging 135 yards per hour per pump. More pumps can be employed to increase the yards per hour like with large mat pours that have become routine pumping jobs. With today's modern pumps offering boom reach to 170 feet, the concrete pump is positioned for easy access to the truck mixer so that constant supply assures the fastest production rate with minimal disruption to existing traffic. Remember, at 85 cubic yards per hour, which is well within the capabilities of a modern pump, Unloading time for an eight-yard mixer, only six minutes. Simply stated, there is no other method that can put concrete in place as quickly and economically as a pump. The economy is magnified by the precision placement of a concrete pump that reduces spreading time and labor. Even at stratospheric heights, the concrete pump proves to be the only practical method of construction. Pumping to nearly a quarter mile straight up, a single concrete pump at ground level achieved a record height of 1,263 feet, placing concrete at the Petronas Twin Towers in Malaysia. And when the world's tallest all-concrete building, the 311 South Wacker Tower in Chicago, was topped out at 79 stories, 
it was a single concrete pump at ground level, more than 969 feet down, that made it possible. While the output was compromised by the height of the pour, the pump still averaged more than 50 cubic yards per hour from the 600-foot level to the top. By comparison, a tower crane cycle time to 600 vertical feet would average about nine minutes, or 13 yards per hour, using a standard two-yard bucket, traveling at a high-performance crane's line speed of 300 feet per minute. At lower levels on this structure, the pump placed over 100 yards per hour as high as the 36th floor. And while these extraordinary feats of pumping efficiency on skyscrapers have become routine, you don't have to reach for the sky to realize the benefits of concrete pumping. Flat work, subgrade, bridge decks, residential foundations, underwater tremie pours, and many other types of projects have benefited from the different types of concrete pumps. Trailer pumps can be located for ideal ready-mix truck access and pipeline laid to the pour site hundreds or even thousands of feet away. One or more separate placing booms connected to the pump's pipeline assist in precision placement at the pour site. These marvels of distribution technology allow a single operator to guide concrete placement to all corners throughout the boom's 370 degree rotation without disrupting reinforcing steel on decks or in columns. The pump's controlled output prevents blowout of forms, and free fall of concrete is minimized, resulting in less segregation of the mix and a higher quality finish. Meanwhile, as the pump and boom combination perform placing chores, the tower crane is free to do the lifting tasks of forms and construction materials that it was designed for. Truck-mounted pumps with placing booms offer the convenience of mobility, allowing multiple pours at different sites in a day, and speed the placing process with quick setup once on site. The flexibility of a three or four section boom places up, out, over, and under, with the operator guiding the boom through remote control to accurately place the concrete and monitor the progress. Now, construction continues on muddy or unimproved sites that don't allow ready-mix truck access. This translates into more practical construction days, less excavation time to improve sites specifically to accommodate trucks, and less cleanup of roadways because of mud tracked onto streets by truck mixers. And when work moves indoors, smaller truck-mounted booms follow. Units with low overhead unfolding heights reach out over the cab, providing the steady, precise concrete flow that allows a laser screed to pave exceptionally flat floors in warehouses, shopping centers, and arenas. As the pour moves closer to the pump, operators can retract the outrigger legs and move the pump back without folding the boom for even faster placement. Concerns of concrete pump reliability are easily dispelled by today's equipment. With regular maintenance and trained operators, concrete pumps perform with amazing consistency, as illustrated thousands of times every day throughout the world. Dramatic examples of standard concrete pumps performing outstanding feats are regular occurrences. Whether it be two trailer pumps operating non-stop for 30 days on a Canadian oil well platform project, or pumping more than 4,000 feet horizontally to seal a mine, or pumping vertically nearly 1,200 feet on a Malaysian high-rise, or just assuring a quality residential foundation poured on time and at the right price, concrete pumps have arrived. So today, the question for the construction industry isn't really, why pump concrete, but why not?